Hey, good morning guys. It's 7.35 a.m. now and I would like to do a video to show you how you can check out information on unit trust or mutual funds. So as you know now, there's this coronavirus that's happening and markets are being affected. So of course, you know, as Warren Buffett says, um, be greedy when the market is fearful and be fearful when the market is greedy. So um, at this time, you know, funds and equities and indexes are uh, having a dive and it might be good to just check them out to see, you know, if there, there are any opportunities. So, but in this video, I just want to talk to you more about uh, mutual funds and unit trusts and how you can actually... Uh, how you can actually learn more about them how do you check out the dividend how, how do you find out the you and things like that all right so let's come over to fun supermart all right so fun supermart is this like uh yeah as the name uh as the name indicates supermart it's like a shopping center it's like a place where you can buy funds all right but i think uh i think when fun supermart first started out they were only selling mutual funds but as, as of today i think they have moved also into bonds whereby you can buy uh, bonds uh, via the website itself and uh, i think a bond a corporate bond will cost about 250,000 so that's a bit too expensive for me so i'll, I'll just be looking at funds in this uh, video so over here if you see on the menu section there are a couple of stuff as well stocks etf and a, and a couple more uh, okay i'll just talk about funds itself so let's come to the funds homepage. So uh, let's have a look. Is there anything over here? Okay. So over here you can see that there are some uh, top volume funds. So top volume means that you know people are buy sales. That means people are buying them like a lot. So you can see Land Global, Fullerton, and a bunch of others. All right. So today I want to talk about this fund that I've been looking at. It's called Allianz uh, Income and Growth. Uh, I kind of had that before, but I sold that uh, some time back. Can't, re can't, re can't remember the reason why, but I think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to go back in and look at that again. So if you come over here to this uh, fund finder, all right, this is where all the funds are being listed. Okay, if you see the front, it says AB. So this, uh, if I'm not wrong, this would be the, the company's name. So you see over here, Aberdeen. Um, what else do you have over here? You have Allianz, so Allianz is the one that I'm looking for. Okay, let me bring this up a little bit. And then, um, what else? Uh, uh, Ambundi, I'm not, not really sure about this guy. It's BNP Paribas, um, BlackRock, yeah. So BlackRock is the world's uh, biggest uh, fund uh, asset company. So yep, so they have all kinds of funds over here. All right, guys, not to bore you any further, I want to look at the Allianz income and growth. <laughs> Okay, where is that? Okay, over here. So if you if you look with me over here, this fund has a several. Um, it's it's broken down into several types. Okay, so if you see here, Allianz Income and Growth. Uh, I don't know what CI means. Okay, but uh, what I do know that when you see the word H two, it means hatched. Okay, H E D H E D G E D. So it's hatched to the Australian dollar, the European, the euro. The pound, the roaming B, and the Singapore uh, current uh, Sing dollars. So of course, without the hedge, it's in USD because the base uh, currency is USD. So I'm gonna look at the SGD because I'm in base in Singapore. So let me let me just click on that. All right. So this is the page. Okay. So as you can tell, the price of the uh, of the fund is now eight dollars and twenty six uh, cents. Uh, in sing dollars okay so the first thing that you should always look at is uh, look at the risk rating itself so over here you see that uh, the risk rating is seven so i think it's up to a maximum of 10 which means that the risk rating is seven that means there's some significant risk in this uh, fund itself okay so the fu the fund size is i don't know is this billion or trillion okay so this is one of the uh, very popular um, uh, unit trusts uh, okay so let's look down over here. Uh, okay, I think the next thing that you want to look at is actually the fun fact sheet. So just click on this because this will give you a summary of what this fund is about. Okay, so let me expand this. Okay, if you see over here, let's read the uh, investment objective. It's It aims at long-term capital growth and income. So capital growth means um, you want the capital to increase. 
So if let's say you're starting out at ten dollars, yeah, you're looking at you know maybe eleven dollars in three to five years time, something like that. Okay, and income. So what does income means? It means that there are some kind of uh, coupons, or you know, you invest into some kind of bonds that that give you some uh, yearly, quarterly, or money distribution by investing in the United States and Canadian corporate debt. Okay, corporate. What does that mean? Corporate debt. This means uh, corporate bonds. All right. Securities and equities. This means uh, shares. All right, equities. All right. So if you see over here, uh, okay. Usually I'm really bad at reading graphs. Uh, but uh, since inception, it's about eight percent return. Okay, that's not that's not really super fantastic to be honest. <laughs> but it really depends on your entry because if you get to buy at the deep, um, I think uh, you will get a better yield. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Oh, sorry. Since inception, this is per annum. Okay, I think that's pretty decent. Eight percent. Sorry, I thought it was just. I I thought it was uh year to date um uh, returns. Okay, so if you see me over here, these are the top five holdings. So they are. I I don't know what these companies are. Okay, but if I see something like this, five point five percent. Yeah, we know that it's bonds. All right, this is basically the coupon itself, and I think uh, this means the expiry or rather when the coupon is maturing. So if you realize the coupons are maturing uh, in about I don't know to about six seven years time, all right. So that means that you know this this uh these are the underlying assets, all right. So guys, let me explain what a fund is. Um, let me have my cup of tea first. Just give me a moment. All right. So you know that to buy a a, a bond on the market is going to cost at least. Um, two hundred thousand uh, USD, and not many people have that um, have that money to buy a bond itself. Okay, so what a fund does is that you have this guy, okay, or rather you have this company called Alliance, and they set up this team of people who buy a bunch of this uh, underlying assets. Okay, they buy bonds, they buy equities, and then they come to the public and say, that, "Hey guys, why don't you invest in this fund? If you have." Uh, a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. You can actually buy into this fund as well, and uh, according to the amount that you put in, you will you will be getting a percentage or a stick in these holdings that they have over here. All right, guys. So I hope that uh, that's easy to understand. Um, so all they do is that they just get five thousand from from uh, this guy, ten thousand from another guy, a hundred thousand from another guy so and so forth and they put the money together and they buy all these things and they distribute it based on how much uh, you entered at that point in time okay based on the price as well okay so if you look over here um, they do have some uh, convertible bonds um, I'm not really sure what convertible bonds means uh, let me just do a search over here <laughs> okay um Okay, you can read it over here. I don't really, uh, I'm not, I'm not really a bond expert. Okay, but um, I know bonds. There are several types over here. Okay, let's come over here and okay, these are the top five holdings. So it looks like they invest in very high quality companies as well, like Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Alphabet. Alphabet is by Google and Visa. Visa is a financial company. You know your Visa, uh, a uh, card. So it looks, it look, it looks like a. Uh, they are exposed, uh, you see, over here it says top 5 holdings. So I think they are pretty much exposed in the tech sector. Alright, so of course we know that now there's this tech sector boom and therefore maybe they are overweighing in uh, these areas. But in the unlikely event if you know tech is suffering, then you will see a significant uh, decrease in the, in the price of this, uh, this fund itself. All right, and and if you see over here, although this is the top five holding, but its percentage within the portfolio is one point two percent, one point two percent, one point one percent, one point one percent, and this alone itself is about five percent already, five six percent. So you, you think of it this way: one point two percent out of out of what? Uh, out of out of this amount right here. <laughs> That's still a lot of money, right? Okay, so guys, so uh, what else? So I think that's pretty much uh, you can see from here. Okay, I think oh, there's also a further breakdown as well, like uh, the bond grade, whether it's triple A or not. Okay, so you realize that they did not buy any triple A bonds or double A bonds or even a single A bond 
or single A bonds. So you know that the 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 safer the bonds, the lower the U. So it looks like they are buying mostly uh, double B bonds. Okay, for forty four uh, percent. So you know when you look at a triple A bond, you're looking at like you know um like government bonds, like uh or what do you call that? Uh, treasury bills. Okay, so they they didn't enter into any of that because I think uh, the yield for those are like probably one to two point five percent, which is not really very attractive and. Uh, yeah, so for this fund itself, they are looking at really, really high returns. I, if I'm not wrong, it's about seven to eight percent per annum, and it's distributed uh, on a monthly basis. All right, guys. So let's come down further and let's look at this. So you know, as I mentioned, there are different class, or rather, they split that into different types. So we have the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, Hong Kong euro, uh, pound, and I just want to look at Sing dollar because uh, I'm in Singapore. So let's look at this. So I think uh, what's important is to come down to this thing called the uh, Bloomberg ticker. Okay, and let me just copy this. All right, guys, uh, I think you can read like rest of the stuff over here as well. Uh, what else I want to cover? Oh, dividend frequency. So this is paying out on a monthly basis. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, and you see over here, um, in the USD, the USD is the first one, it's the base class. The inception date, inception date basically means when the, fo the, the fund is being started. All right, so it started in 2011, and you realize that the rest of the other types, uh, like the Euro and the Hong Kong D, started, started off a lot later. All right, it's because once they got this moving, they realized that there are demands from uh, people in their different currencies. They created like a sort of like a sub type. All right. So if you see in Singapore, it's 2013. Okay, sorry guys. So we have the blue, the the Bloomberg ticker over here. So let me show you what we can do with this. Okay, so let's come to Bloomberg. <laughs> and oh man, Yang Yang. I'm so sad that uh, Andrew Yang drops out, man. He's like my favorite candidate. All right. Okay, so let's come over here to the search. Okay, and let's paste uh, this in. Okay, so there's this space over here. Let's just uh, replace that with a colon. Okay, and it's going to show you the, um, the fund name itself. So let's click on that. Okay, so what I want to show you is actually the um, the price because I don't think you can get this in trading view. You can only get this in uh, Bloomberg. Let me just uh, double confirm this one more time. Okay, so let's do Allianz. Let's see if uh, there's any drop down. Allianz income. Income, anything? No, I don't think so. It's only equities here. Alright, there are no funds here. Okay, so never mind. Let's just kill this and let's come to Bloomberg. And over here, I just want to show the, the full chart. So this is one month. Let's go to the five years. Okay, so I don't think they give you the full information. Uh, but uh, as you can see over here, it started off, if I'm not wrong, it started off at $10. I don't know if it says over here, um, the initial price. Okay, I don't think so. But I, I, I know that it started off as, at $10. Um, and as of today, wow, you look at that, it's $8. So although, yes, this fund did promise, I mean, it's not promise, but it's in their mandate that they're looking at capital growth. It looks like they did not really fulfill that, that part of it because I, I don't see like since 2015. I mean, they started off in 2011. I don't have that data. But from at least 2015 to the present, 2020, I, I don't see any kind of capital growth, which is uh, a little bit disappointing. <laughs> All right. So I think if you had managed to buy it sometime over here at $8, oh, it's also 8, 8.0, 8.2, I think you experience a bit of so-called capital growth only to be disappointed again <laughs> and disappointed one more time so i don't know you know like there's some risk that in one or one to two years time this could drop to i don't know seven dollars fifty cents and yeah so you're you're hoping that the capons would will make up for it all right guys so i just want to show you uh based on this graph how do you calculate the capons because um uh, the coupons are pretty attractive. Okay, so let's come over here to uh, to this page, and let's go down to uh, where do we have? We have this uh, historical dividend. So let's click on this. 
Okay, so this table will show you the dividends that they are paying on a monthly basis. So if I bring all the way to, I don't know, page 8, this is in 2013. Yeah, this is when the uh, fund is being incepted. So if you see the dividend rate per unit is 0 0.075 and as of today it's 0 0.055. That means the dividend has dropped. Alright, so uh, I think those people who started to buy at the start would, would get a really, really solid dividend <laughs> okay guys so i want to show you how you can calculate this and how to ca how to calculate what your yield would be so i'm gonna open my calculator so let's assume that you invest ten thousand dollars okay and um, uh, let's assume that um, you buy it from a financial institution which is going to charge you uh, a certain percentage okay because i used to work in the bank for a couple of years and i was also uh, dealing in this area of uh, investments, uh, the banks typically charge you uh, from 1% to 5%, okay? So 5% is pretty serious. That means, you know, if you invest uh, $10,000, the bank is going to charge you $5,000. Oops, <laughs> $10,000, and the bank is going to charge you 0 0.05, which is 5000 Oh, sorry, $500, my bad. <laughs> so if you invest uh, uh, $10,000, the bank can charge you all the way up to uh, $500, which means the moment you buy the fund, you have immediately lost 5%, which is pretty significant, all right? Uh, I think in other places, they might charge you um, 3% or 1%, depending on the quantum that you buy in. Uh, based on my understanding, Fund Supermart charges you really a fraction it charges you like something like uh, 0 0.025% or something like that or 0.25% I can't, I can't really remember but it's really a very uh, a very small amount okay like $25 or something like that so let's assume that you buy it from Fun Supermarket okay by the way I'm not uh, I'm not, this is not an affiliate uh, video okay I'm not doing any advertisements for them <laughs> although I think I am but the reason I'm talking about them is because they have all the information that's uh, that's required for me to do this video okay just give me just hold on I'm gonna have another sip of my tea all right so based on that ten thousand dollars investment let's assume that you're gonna give twenty five dollars to Fun Supermarket for some kind of platform fee all right so this will be your investable amount, okay, $9,975. And we know that the price uh, at present is uh, $8.22, right? So I think uh, this presents really an opportunity to go in and, uh, you know, buy some as well. So let me show it to you how this works, okay? So let's divide by 8.22. All right, so you get one two one three okay so this will be the number of units that you get okay so maybe let me just open um let me open visual studio code <laughs> oops what is this <laughs> sorry guys okay so capital let's make this bigger so capital you put in uh ten thousand dollars Okay, and then you have your uh, charge, maybe they call it the platform fee, it charges you um, $25 based on 0.25%. So your investable, investable amount will be, what is that, um, 9975, is that right? Okay, 9975. And we look at the price. Okay, so the price we know that it is uh, eight point eight point two two eight point two two. Okay, so we need to calculate the number of units. Okay, which means what's the stake that you buy into? Okay, so you go with nine nine seven five divide by eight point two two equals to uh, one two one three point. Uh, five zero. All right, guys. Just give me a moment. I need to open the door. Someone has. Uh, someone is coming in. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So we have this amount of units over here, and if you come over here, you see um, that this it says dividend rate per unit. So let's assume that you know they're still going to pay off uh, 
0.05583. This is based on February uh, 2020, 2020. So let me just copy this. And let me just paste this over here. So uh, dividend is dividend is this per unit. Okay, per unit. All right, so what, what that means is, okay, uh, not dividend, but maybe dividend rate. Okay, so what this means is the dividend that you're going to receive on a monthly basis is very likely to be 1 to 1, 3.50 multiplied by 0 0.05583. Okay, so let's uh, do a calculation for this. That is times, you multiply by 0 0.05583, 0 point, oops, 0 0.05583, okay? So this means that on a monthly basis, you're going to receive $67, uh, which is $67 and something cents, right? And 74 cents. Okay, let, let me round it out to make it 75 cents. Okay, so let's assume that the dividend rate does not change for an entire year. Okay, um, so you're getting um, dividend. Okay, maybe let me just put this as a monthly dividend and this will be a yearly dividend so you can calculate your U your dividend would be 67.75 multiplied by 12 okay take note that of course they can always change the dividend rate but uh, it's it's quite likely that they're, they're going to keep it um, uh, for some time as well times 12 so you are looking at about $812. So if this is your capital, which is $10,000, and you're getting about $800 uh, on, on a yearly basis, that means the yield will be 8.12% per annum. Okay, why do I think that this could be an opportunity? It's because you don't get many funds that are paying over 5%. Or four percent. Most funds are paying about four, four point five percent. Um, and okay, so that's the first thing. So, so the advantage in my in my opinion, all right, guys. This is just purely my opinion. Okay, let me have a T again. All right. So, this is high, um, high U. Okay, high because it's above five percent. Okay. Secondly is, I would argue that the price, low price, low price now, $8. So as you see over here, prices is at a low. I mean, I, I would think that prices could fall further. I mean, if the coronavirus is not contained. And that could be another opportunity to enter uh, some more into this investment as well. All right. So what, what the, the ideal situation would be, you know, it's going to fall, assuming it falls or, or it kind of move within the range of 8.5 to 8 or 7.5. So you're, you're hoping that, you know, in the next two to three years, when things start to recover, you know, prices will go up to about $9 or $9.50. Okay, even if it goes up to $9, let's look at this. All right, guys. Um, let's assume that it goes up to $9. So that's $1 difference. That means it's 1 divided by nine uh one sorry it's one divided by eight i mean one divided by eight okay if it goes up um if it goes up one dollar sorry it's eight point two two one divided by eight point two two let's assume that you calculate based on today's price that means based on your capital you are looking to gain about 12 percent and that is on top of the dividends that uh you are receiving on a money basis so if you know if someone has a I don't know. A million. A, a, <laughs> if someone has a hundred thousand dollars, that means uh, you're looking at uh, about six hundred seventy dollars on a money basis, and that could potentially uh, be enough to pay for your I don't know your money expenses or something like that. So, um, so I think this is the reason why uh, this fund uh, could be attractive to some people, not to everyone. Um, yep. Guys, I think that's all I, I really have to talk about this fund. Um, actually, what I wanted to talk about is how do you calculate 
the dividends. So based on what I've uh, taught you in this video, you can uh, just play around with uh, the different funds over here. So another fund that I am also looking at, uh, let me just show it to you. <laughs> Sorry about my clock. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm back to the homepage and you realize over here, um, there is uh, a top funds, top performance, top ETF, top bonds, and these are the uh, equity funds, I believe, which has gone up about 15% over the, over, over the past month. Sorry guys, I have this uh, really annoying alarm, an, an annoying war clock. <laughs> okay, if you'll see over here, top volume by sales, Allianz income and growth is number one. Uh, it's a uh, negative 2.25. I think this is the, the U. Okay, the other fund that I'm definitely looking at is also First State Advantage. Okay, because First State Advantage invests into, um, let me see over here, it invests into the uh, the Asian market and a lot they, they buy into a lot of very good companies as well and uh, yeah guys I think I'm gonna stop here because my keto has is so weak <laughs> as you can hear from his uh, shouting I have to attend to him okay I'm his slave so I have to uh, make his milk now all right guys I'll see you bye bye